going to take you on a pretty whistle-stop tour of the recommendations now. Um, we began with a recommendation on uh, assessment and feedback. Um, we focus here not on valid and reliable assessment. There's lots of other guidance and resources on that topic. Uh, instead, we focus on the use of assessment, using assessment to find out what pupils do and don't, do not know, uh, and then uh, adapting teaching accordingly. Um, and we think that a, a kind of key bit of knowledge, teacher knowledge here, which would be a really useful focus for some CPD, is just knowledge of common misconceptions. So by misconceptions, we mean uh, a partial truth, uh, an overgeneralization, uh, or an error in reasoning, uh, which leads pupils to make uh, a, a systematic pattern of errors. So uh, an example of a misconception could be that the, the idea of multiplication making bigger and division making smaller. So this is quite a useful conception in some contexts. So for numbers greater than one, can be quite a, a useful conception. But when that's applied to numbers less than or equal to one, can become a, a misconception and lead these lead people to make this kind of systematic pattern of errors. So really useful, really important knowledge both to use in assessment, but also in the planning of, of future lessons. And uh, we think a real emphasis for CPD. Uh, uh, as the lady uh, mentioned over here, um, feedback is something we're really interested in. And in the report, we apply what we know about feedback to maths. Uh, we kind of apply the um, principles of effective feedback to mathematics, so being specific, accurate, and clear, comparing what uh, the pupil has got right now with what they've got wrong before, avoiding empty praise. If you've um, been through the toolkit section on, on feedback, these might be quite familiar. Uh, the evidence on feedback is pretty similar across subjects, so it's, it's the same in maths as it is in the, um, is in the teaching and learning toolkit. Um, I, 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 throughout the, the, the talk, I'm going to plug um, lots of other EEF resources, and this is this is just this, this is one of them. So, uh, this was a, a review that we conducted uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, it was a review of the evidence uh, on uh, different uh, approaches to written marking. So, we we carried out this review around the time that the DFE was uh, doing some work around teacher workload, and there's that kind of teacher workload working group at the DFE, and so on. Lots of conversations going on, still ongoing, about um, the impact of, of marking on workload. So if you're interested in the debates uh, around, as a, as a lady mentioned, oral and written feedback, uh, ensuring that feedback is um, cost effective, doesn't take up loads of time, which could be used more uh, on, on more beneficial things potentially, um, this is a really useful resource to consult. So. Um, Throughout the guidance, we um, provide some examples. Um, so these are examples of some of the principles of the guidance in action. They're there to provide exemplification and sort of make the guidance come alive. They might also be good starting points for a discussion about the principles with colleagues when you, when you go back to your schools. Um, one of them um, looks at this misconception. So why might pupils arrive at this misconception, what might they what they might what might they think which leads them to make this mistake? Exactly. It's it's a overgeneralization maybe from whole numbers where they're just saying we'll add the numerators, add the denominators. Um, what else? It might come from multiplication of fractions. So that might lead them to make this mistake. And what kind of things might we try to support pupils to arrive at a more useful conception, arrive at the right answer, arrive at more useful conceptions which leads them to the right answer? That's what I'm trying to say. Visual. Visual. Yeah, fantastic. So uh, a representation. Any any particular type? Equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions. Gentlemen. Uh, Number line. Number line. Yeah. Yeah, um, uh, number lines are um, um, uh, something uh, our academics on our panel got particularly exercised about. Uh, there's pretty good evidence around uh, their usefulness, particularly around teaching fractions as a 
fairly common misconception that pupils have where they don't necessarily realise that fractions are numbers which can be placed on a number line. So number lines or bar models, which is a, a, you know, a, really a type of number line, could be a really useful um, teaching tool here to arrive, help pupils arrive at uh, more useful conceptions and uh, uh, the right answer to that, that mathematical task.